ITV. Come on in. I think for the last 10 years, I've seen my face deteriorate to, to the degree that I don't recognize myself anymore from the way I was when I was 57. I hate looking at myself in the mirror. I'm very critical of the way I look. I see bags, I see jowls, I see lots of lines, and I hate looking in the mirror. I think Sharon Osborne looks very good. My middle daughter's getting married in September and there will be lots and lots of photographs and I want to be able to look at those photographs and not think, oh, that doesn't look like me. The aim is really to rejuvenate her. She's having like upper eyelid surgery, lower eyelid surgery. You can see like the bags on her lower eyelids, face and neck lifting. She has some depressions around her eyes, so she's having a little fat transfer. And then the final thing is skin resurfacing, like polishes the skin so it, it can take back years. The fact that it's eight hours of surgery is probably the thing that's worrying me most. I'm feeling quite nervous but I expected that. I think that's understandable. I can't wait for it to be over though. I'll just go to sleep and hopefully wake up and it'll all be done. Wow, well with me now is Dee and Dr Hilary Jones and let's have a look. You do look rejuvenated, Thank I you. would have to say. Worth it? Well worth, worth it, well yeah. worth it. I'm really pleased with the results. And do mm. you feel when you look in the mirror now you've seen yourself? <laughs> you know, it's like the way you should be? Much better than it was before. Right. Heaps better. And was it all about the fact that you wanted to look really good at your daughter's wedding? It was really about that? Was that the trigger? I think timing-wise that was probably it. But right. it was something that I'd thought about for a long time. I could never do when I was working. Right. At least I thought I couldn't because I always imagined that the recovery period would be very long and I'd be hiding away for yes. a month or two. In fact, it wasn't like that. And Was it not? How long did you have to wait before you, you felt sort of more back to well, normal? Well, four days and I went to a restaurant and... Four, in, four days? Mm -hmm. Crikey. Um, but weren't you in terrible pain? No, no pain. I didn't ever feel any pain. Never Gosh. a moment of pain. How extraordinary. I had no bruising whatsoever and everyone said to me, oh, you'll have black eyes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not at all, nothing. Because I always think of it, I mean, I, I do always think it was a really, really serious operation, you know, with all the risks associated with mm, that. Mm -hmm. Do you think you've just been lucky? No, I think if you go to a really skilled surgeon like Dr De Silva, then you're not going to have all these right. uh, side effects and mm. and you do when like I say you do actually feel better and it's a lot of money 25,000 pounds ouch but it was worth it I, <laughs> I would rather do that than go on a couple of holidays or buy a new car it, for me I mean this is something right. that's I see every single day right. and it's going to last for a long time. And do, has it made you feel more confident? Has it made you feel better about you and, much, your, and yourself? Do you feel I better? didn't even bother putting makeup on before I had this. I'd given up putting makeup on because I used to look and think, right. it really doesn't make that much difference. Uh, can't be really bothered to do it. I mean, before we look at the shots, before you're actually a very, very good looking, what, 67? Yes, nearly 68. Nearly 68. Do you see, when you look at that lady there, do you think, ooh, What's your reaction when you see that picture? Yes, I did. When I was, up until the time I was 60, whenever age came into the conversation, people would say, oh my goodness, I would never know you were 60. I thought you were 50. Right. When I got to 65 and the, my age came up, people said, oh yes, you're 65. And then I thought, <laughs> Whoa, that's a big difference. <laughs> right, <laughs> OK. That was when I started to get worried. OK. okay. Hilary, we've talked about this a lot, haven't we? I've mm. always said I would be way too scared to do anything. I'd be frightened. Listening to Dee's experience, I mean, I still wouldn't do it, but listening to your experience, I'm, I'm thinking that a lot of people think, oh, this is a doddle. It's easy. Absolutely, and it's not Expensive, always. She's had a, a good experience. Mm. I mean, I've known Dee for years in her capacity as running the, the, the clinic of for course, anorexia. Yeah, of um, so I can see what a really good re uh, uh, re response she's had mm. to this surgery. It's been it's expert easy. surgery. Um, and you've got to be very careful. Some people would say, well, you know, 67 is that not too old for facelifts. Most facelifts are, uh, are done between the age of 40 and 60. Right. But provided you've got good skin quality, you'll get good results. Right. If you haven't got good skin quality and the skin is very sagging, mm. then no matter what you do to the muscles underneath the face, you're, you're always going to get that skin sag right. afterwards. So preparation of the skin before the operation is important with serums such as vitamin C um, and vitamin A, 
but also combining this treatment, the facelift, with laser resurfacing of the skin and something to stimulate the collagen mm. below the skin is important. So laser treatment and, and other, uh, and other uh, yeah. tricks as well that help to keep the skin sure. quality good afterwards are important. Because looking at you, I would never think that you'd had any work done, unless you told me. You well, know, that you just, was the yeah. idea, that he um, absolutely always says that his results are very natural looking. And, yeah, because uh, when you see people who've had it done, particularly in America, particularly in California, they all look like they've been caught in a wind tunnel mm -hmm. and they all look exactly the same. They do, because they've had too much done. Right. And certainly uh, the adage that less is more, uh, it holds very true with, with cosmetic surgery. If you do too much, it's very obvious and it doesn't look natural. But if you do a little bit, uh, and you're creative about and you, or you're and you are tailoring what you're doing to the structure of the face mm. and there's an art in that that's the artistry there is, in cosmetic yes, surgery very much so, then huh? you're going to get a good result mm, mm. and it was worth it the wedding day was good the wedding day was marvelous and uh, no i was i was thrilled with it and yeah. you felt you felt good you felt good i did i yeah. chose a good person i think and as you yeah, say yeah, yeah. you really do need I wouldn't go to Poland and have this done. No, good for you. Um, no, a lot of people that. are doing that, and that's um, people do hey, do that. It's a bit of a lottery. You need to know. You need to have somebody who I think who's trained in America as well, because the, they they pioneer these mm. techniques, and Dr. De Silva had done that for sure. for many years. Okay. And they have to keep reinventing themselves too, new techniques and. Uh, yeah. And new things. And I'm a still new... not convinced. I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm still. I'm just going to. I'm just going to grow old and embrace my wrinkles and saggy bits. Thank you both very much indeed. Good to see you. Thank you. Right. Still to come on the show. Find out what Kylie Minogue thinks of Rita Ora replacing her on The Voice. But first, competition time with Andy Peters. Sup. ITV. Come on in.